Welcome to the Advanced Cardiac Life Support Chapter on Early Defibrillation and Using an AED. In a situation where a person goes into cardiac arrest, sometimes defibrillation is the only treatment that can restore normal heart activity. This is the case when the rhythm is irregular, as it is with ventricle fibrillation, otherwise known as VF, and pulseless ventricle tachycardia, or VT both of which will be discussed in detail in the following chapter. Remember, BLS survey is used for all cardiac arrest patients. To review BLS survey, refer back to chapter three of this course. Defibrillation stops the VF or VT arrhythmias from continuing and assist in obtaining normal heart rhythm. Remember, defibrillation does not restart the heart but rather it shocks the heart with electrical impulses to interrupt the irregular rhythm in order to establish normal electrical activity. For the highest chance of survival, defibrillation should be immediately followed by CPR. The most common rhythms seen in sudden cardiac arrest are VF and pulseless VT, and because of this, early defibrillation and the use of an AED is critical to the survival of the patient when suffering from an arrhythmia. Let's go over the steps to correctly operate an AED, which are often found in many public places. There are different models and manufacturers of AEDs, but most of them can be used simply enough by taking the following steps. Step one, turn on the AED. Step two, if the patient's chest is wet, first wipe it dry. Next, pick the correct electrode pads to use, either adult, or pediatric. Pediatric pads should be used for children under 8 years of age. Put the electrode pads on the patient's bare chest. Usually pads are placed on the upper right and lower left side of the chest. Step 3. Now you will analyze the patient's heart rhythm. Ensure that no one is touching the patient as this can produce a false reading or injury. The AED device may automatically analyze the patient's rhythm, or it will prompt you to push a button so it can start reading the rhythm. After analyzing, the AED will let you know if a shock is recommended. Step 4. If shock is needed, clear the patient by making sure that no one is touching the patient, including the person administrating shock, and then proceed to push the shock button. Step five. Next, continue CPR immediately, beginning with chest compressions. Remember to perform 30 compressions to every two breaths. After two minutes, the AED device will tell you to repeat steps three and four of analyzing the rhythm and applying shock if necessary. This was the chapter on early defibrillation and using an AED. Please proceed to the next section of this course to learn more.